Judy, the two hoodlums are in different prisons for different crimes and looking at different time left on their sentences. But tonight, Mario Renone and Paul Shiro have one thing in common. These once hard-boiled mobsters claim they're scared to death of catching COVID-19. We can't keep these people in there forever. I've had two people come out in pine boxes. I don't want another one to come out like that. Joe Lopez represents convicted Chicago mobster Mario the Arm Renone, once an underworld enforcer notorious for his ability to muscle those in debt to the outfit. Renone, from West Suburban Addison, now 65 years old, is locked up here at the Federal Medical Center in Rochester, Minnesota, doing 15 years for his most recent conviction on gun charges. In this new court filing asking for freedom, Renone is described as an ailing senior citizen with a dozen maladies from head to toe. And the the COVID-19 pandemic poses an additional deadly risk to Mr. Renone. His attorney, known as the shark and today sporting a shark face mask, says Renone isn't the same thug as he used to be. This is certainly enough time. He's been in there since 2009. I mean, how many more years do they want to squeeze out of this dude? 82-year-old Paul the Indian Shiro was the first Chicago mobster to ask for compassionate release last month. Shiro, pleading guilty in 2009 during the government's Family Secrets Outfit murder trial and is known as the Indian because he was a feared outfit warrior. Now here at a prison hospital in Butner, North Carolina, also with a host of illnesses, according to this filing, he's doing time for the 1986 murder of Arizona businessman Emil Vachi. And in an affidavit filed by the government, Vachi's daughter says she and her family are the victims, not Paul Shiro, because of his failing health and COVID-19. The court will certainly consider what happened however many years ago, well, how violent that offense was, and how it still affects the family of the victims. Shiro's attorney tonight declining comment on his case. Both sides now waiting for a Chicago federal judge to rule. And a hearing is set in the Mario Renone case for a week from tomorrow. Renone's release date now is 2028, so he would catch quite a break if the compassionate release actually happened. Our legal analyst and former federal prosecutor Gil Sofer tonight puts the chances of any of these happening as slim. Alan. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.